Hey guys, Hasib here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to discuss Go High Level Client Onboarding Tips for this year 2024. We know that a lot of things has changed in Go High Level since last year. They've brought a lot of changes. They've changed a lot of existing features and a lot of other cool stuff. So we are going to discuss the onboarding process and what's changed. And we are also going to discuss some best practices you can apply. So the client never wants to leave your white label platform. Also, I have got a bonus onboarding video that you can show to your client to make them familiar with your platform. And that video is not showing any face, not showing any Go High Level branding, not even showing any other white label branding. Because of that, you can use that video for your clients to make them familiar with the platform. So that's a really cool onboarding video. You will find that video on my Facebook group. So make sure you join the group. As soon as you join the group, it will be right there uh, on top because I've pinned the video there. So with that being said, let's start with the process and then we are going to move on to uh, discussing the best practices, right? So the onboarding process starts with requirements, what you need from the client. Imagine you've closed a client. Now you need some information in order to create a Go High Level account for him. Everything I'm going to discuss, this is going to be based on the $297 plan because SaaS actually takes care of some of these. So we are not going to go to that part. But yeah, you get the idea, right? If you, if you have a SaaS plan, just get rid of some of these and apply the others. So let's start with the requirements. You need the client's name. You need the client's email. You need the client's business name, business email, phone number, address. And the last thing you need is website logins for the client website. I would add one more thing and that would be calendar schedule. So you want to ask the client, you want to ask the client if he wants to use the calendar. If so, what's his availability? What does his schedule look like that you need in order to set up the client's calendar? Now, these are the things you need. You need the website, you need the name, email, phone number, address, you need client's name, email and calendar schedule. Next thing, we're going to discuss the steps to follow, right? And again, this is based on the $297 plan. If you're on SaaS plan, you don't have to do some of these, but the rest of the items stay same. The first thing you're going to do is create a sub account for client, create with a blank snapshot so that that will be from scratch. All right. So don't get fuzzy. Don't get angry. I'll just discuss the snapshot part later, but create a sub account just to begin with. The next thing you're going to do is create a login for client. And by the way, all these uh, items are discussed in one of my other Go High Level client onboarding videos. I'll link that video in the description as well, just uh, in case you haven't seen that already. Now, create a sub account, create a login uh, for your client, get a phone number. Now, if you're in the United States, that's going to be a challenge if you want to get a local phone number because a to P 10 DLC registration is a pain in the ass. So what you're going to do is if the client has an LLC, if the client has an LLC, the client will have an EIN and based on that EIN, you can actually register him for A to P uh, 10 DLC. What that is, is that basically removes any filter put by the US phone carriers that blocks SMS going out. So if you if you register your client for A to P, you don't have to worry about the SMS getting blocked by the carriers. That's all. If the client does not have an LLC or the EIN number, you can go ahead and set up a toll free number. That's just double the amount of uh, how you need to pay for a local number, like $1 or something. You need to pay $2 a month for toll free numbers. And yeah, uh, the, the SMS fees and local uh, phone call fees are pretty much same. So you don't need for toll free numbers, you don't need the client's EIN number or stuff. Next thing, set up call forwarding. So the client will have a business phone number or he would want to forward uh, the phone calls coming to the local phone or the toll free number you're going to get for the client in Go High Level. So the number to forward to, you're going to ask the client which number to forward the calls to, you know, so to ask him. The next thing you're going to do is share link to the app. So if you don't have the white label app, you just use the gray label lead connector app. If he uh, if the client has a iPhone or an Android, you'll find the uh, you'll find the link to apps on App Store or Play Store. So just Google lead connector app. You'll find it there. Next thing is install the local business snapshot. So if it's a roofing client, install your roofing snapshot. If it's, it's an HVAC, install the HVAC. Depends on the business, really. So if you have a business snapshot already, just install that. And the business snapshot will come with a lot of custom values. You must you must fill up those custom values. Otherwise, the automations are not going to work. They're going to be messy and they're going to be weird. So install the local business snapshot, fill up all the custom values. 
next thing you're gonna do is log in to his client website remember i said you need your client's website logins so log into his website install the go high level forms and surveys that's a part of the snapshot right so if you have a snapshot you've got everything set up pretty much and that snapshot should come with forms or surveys so if that's a multi-step form you need to install surveys if that's a one step just install a form that's all install it on the client's website and we are going to discuss why it's a very important it, it it needs to be almost an obligation for the client you know so next thing after setting up form surveys make sure the automations are working you need to test every step also set up the calendar for client and this is where you need the calendar schedule that's why i wrote it down in the requirement part and then you need to install the chat widget so go high level chat widget comes with a live chat feature as well now so just ask the client what he needs if he wants an automated chat widget or if he wants a live chat so one of his reps could talk to the people who are inquiring via the chat widget on the website so install that chat widget you need the lead connector wordpress plugin if the client has a wordpress website which is in most cases uh most of the times that's the case i mean if the client does not have a wordpress website you need to install the code from the chat widget and I've, i have shown everything on the client onboarding video so make sure you watch that it's pretty redundant for me to you know show you in this video again then the last thing you're going to do is share the onboarding video from the group that i i'm sharing in the group with the client that video pretty much takes care of making the client getting familiarized with all the features and go high level again that's not showing any branding or stuff so you can use it and you can share it with your clients so he gets familiarized with the platform you know that's all for the setup guys that's the onboarding process and it, it may take like a half an hour for each client maybe take 45 minutes but it's totally worth going through all these options if you've got SaaS, just don't need to create the sub account don't need to create users stuff you know but in all cases you need to follow these process and i'll tell you now why that's so important let's actually move on to onboarding tips the onboarding tips start with this part right so push clients to finish watching onboarding video that's really important and here's why it's really important if just think about it right if you are not comfortable with a platform we, we actually sign up to like a lot of platforms every year just imagine how many you stick with and why you don't stick with a platform is because if, if you don't know how it works you're never going to stick with it right if, you're never going to end up using it in the long run so the onboarding video is that's why really important because it tells you or it tells your client in this case how easy it is to navigate how easy it is to use every feature in go high level so if you've got a white label setup just share that video and that will help the client understand how this works and the client won't be getting back to you how this works how this works the video actually takes care of everything all right the next thing is involve client with as many features as possible what i mean by that is go high level has a lot of features right automations calendars appointment booking systems form surveys funnels reputation management and lots of other stuff make sure the client gets involved with as many features as possible uh the benefit number one is he's gonna like it he's definitely gonna like it if he understands it enough number two when he thinks about leaving these features that's gonna be like a huge hassle for him in the head so he's never gonna want to leave these features that you're gonna provide uh because these are actually core values right these are values that you're providing him not just features so make sure you involve him with the features like just ask him hey just use our reputation management it's pretty cool it can automatically generate google reviews for you facebook reviews for you just use it hey we've got a social media planner are you uh, do you want to use it because it comes with the monthly subscription you don't have to pay extra unless you want to charge your client extra also hey we've got an appointment booking system that sends automatic confirmation reminders so we'll set up the calendar just let us know your availability and we'll set it up for you that's all you know hey we've got a t call tracking feature so if you've got agents calling out for uh lead generation lead nurture you can listen to the voice recordings it's pretty cool so these are the things you need to tell your client you know and if you've got a like a autoresponder system database reactivation is one more cool feature so uh database reactivation so hey if, if you've got like a old list of like ex customers just give it to us and we'll reactivate those leads uh or those members of the list with uh, a new feature you've got you know so these are the things you need to tell your client so he never wants to leave the platform the third part make sure the client feel 
it's a huge hassle while or after leaving the platform. What I mean by that is he needs to make sure that the client understands how hard it is to move away because the offboarding process is going to include uh, replacing the high level forms you installed on the website, replacing the appointment booking system you had in place for him by a new appointment booking system like Calendly or something. Also, he needs to pay extra money for each of these features, you know, so he needs to pay extra for the chat widget. He needs to pay extra for multi-step forms. He needs to pay extra for the appointment booking system, which is going to be Calendly or any other feature or if he wants to use the payment invoicing feature, you know, he needs to pay extra for that as well. So make sure you tell the client how hard it is or like make him feel you don't have to tell him anything. Just make him feel that you are giving him all for very low amount of money, which if he wants to do it with any other platform, he needs to pay extra a lot of extra money to get the same service you know that's all for the onboarding tips and this helped me this helped the people i used to work with this helped the people i usually work with uh you know and this is what i had for you and i hope these help you as well and make sure you subscribe this channel because i keep bringing content almost like three times or four times a week and i hope these videos are helping as well so have a good day thank you mm -hmm.